Need you for the old me Need you for my sanity Need you to remind me where I come from Can you do it? Hey, Mr. Mariah and welcome back to my channel If you're new here, welcome And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back And thank you for supporting my channel So today I wanted to come and tell y'all about this little I don't want to say experiment that I did Because everybody's been doing it But I saw it on I don't know somebody's youtube channel that i watched so i decided i wanted to try it so i went and got this aztec indian healing clay and this is how it looks and i got this from target and it was around five dollars i think so basically it says it's the world's most powerful facial deep pore cleansing 100 percent national uh, natural calcium bentonite clay so that's what it says and then on the back it gives you instructions on how to use it and then basically you can mix it with apple cider vinegar which is what i did and here's the kind that i have or you could mix it with water i chose to mix it with apple cider vinegar because of the whole ph balancing thing if you know anything about the pH balance of your skin and hair and everything. Apple cider vinegar is very acidic and bentonite clay is very alkaline. So when you mix them together, they kind of balance each other out. And so I thought I would get a better effect if I mixed it with the vinegar. So I didn't try this on my face because I had already used a different mask, a different clay mask on my face last week. And I only do that once a week. So I decided I was going to wash my hair, so I decided that I was going to try this on my hair because I saw a bunch of YouTubers trying it on their hair and their skin. So, thirsty. So, what I did was I just got a little plastic bowl and like when you open this, it's really messy. So, and you get a pound. This is a whole pound of clay. It has really no smell to it, and that's how it looks on the inside. As you can see, I only used a little bit because I only used it once. Um, so, just a little bit of background about my hair. I do have relaxed hair. I'm currently not relaxing. Well, I haven't relaxed my hair in the last 10 months nine months just for personal reasons but i do plan on to start back relaxing my hair really soon so i saw a bunch of people using it on their hair and it was natural and how it made their curl pattern do this or whatever obviously i don't care about that because i relax my hair but um i just wanted to try it to see what it would do because everybody was like it was like this magical product or whatever so i just got this raw unpasteurized vinegar and um you could really get any kind. I prefer Bragg, but I couldn't find it. So this was the only other raw unpasteurized kind I could find. I don't really, I wouldn't really say get like the off brand, but I suppose it doesn't matter. Um, you're supposed to basically, whatever you put it on, you mix it together. When you mix it together, make sure you use plastic. You're not supposed to mix bentonite clay in a metal bowl or with a metal fork, spoon, or any type of utensil. So, I did use all plastic stuff. Um, I don't know. Like, when you mix them together, they, like, fizz. They kind of bubble. They look nasty. Uh, it smells really strong, obviously, because of the vinegar. So, I just kind of had wet my hair because I had just took my braids out. And they said it was, like, a good, like, detox for your hair or something. So, I wet my hair and I just mixed the clay to get, like, a whole bowl of clay. And I basically like put it all over my hair from like roots to end. I let it sit up there and I let it dry. And like when it dry, it made my hair like super hard. So I was like, okay, maybe this is how it's supposed to look. But everybody was like, when it's dry, you wash it off. The thing, the label tells you not to leave it on more than 30 minutes anyway, I think. Yeah, once it gets like dry and like tight and stuff, you're supposed to wash it off. 
a little bit of it kind of got on my forehead and i did have like a little dark spot on my forehead and i feel like it helped with it a lot so i'm sure it'll be great on my skin when i decide to try it i just didn't too much care for how it felt on my hair so after i washed it out my hair just felt really like weird i don't know it wasn't technically bad but not technically good i probably wouldn't put it on my hair again and so obviously once you rinse the clay off your hair smells like vinegar because you know you've had this basically solution that smells just like apple cider vinegar sitting on your hair for like 20 30 minutes so um i washed it out i went back and i took like the regular shampoo that i use which has like a pretty strong smelling fragrance to it and i washed my hair with that but it still didn't take the vinegar smell out so i was gonna put like some um aloe vera gel that i made from the leaf on my hair anyway so i was like okay i'm gonna just go ahead and do this now because you know aloe vera gel is moisturizing and refreshing and i'm like my hair feels weird and it smells weird so we're just gonna try the aloe vera see if it'll fix things so for me luckily it did um i put it on i put the aloe vera on my hair and obviously it felt really soft and stuff after that and i let that sit for a little while and then i washed it out and then i still proceeded to deep condition my hair because i just really wanted to like make sure the smell was gone because i was about to go to bed and i didn't want to be smelling vinegar in my hair all night so i did that and i let the deep conditioner sit for a while like a couple of hours and then i rinsed it out and i blow dry my hair as normal because i was gonna flat iron it I don't know the only other thing about my hair to me that seemed weird at that time was the when i flat ironed it at first it just seemed kind of stiff it didn't have any you know movement to it at all but i mean i think it's good now like it came out good as you can see my hair looks shiny and everything um I don't know of any other benefits that I can say about it. I mean, it helped remove dirt off my scalp, like, because I had just taken braids out of my hair. Um, it did, like, obviously, I haven't had a relaxer in some months, so, like, my roots and stuff are waving up. So, I could tell that it made those, like, more defined, like, my waves and stuff. But it's like after I washed the product out, my hair went back to normal. So, um, I just wanted to tell y'all my experience with this since I see everybody talking about putting it on natural hair. I wanted to tell y'all my experience with it on relaxed hair. And for me, I would say I don't recommend this. And just because I don't really see the benefit of it, like, I feel like it would have been more beneficial to my hair had I just done, like, my avocado aloe aloe vera mask that i would normally do which i probably will just do after whenever i'm ready to wash my hair again so that's that i wouldn't i would suggest definitely buy the mask definitely if you have acne prone skin or um like dark marks and stuff on your skin i would definitely suggest that you buy the mask and use it it says it says you can use it for facials, acne, body wraps, clay baths, foot soaks, chill clay for knee pack, and insect bites. So, you can still get a bunch of use out of it. It says that slight redness of your skin is normal and will disappear in 30 minutes. It removes impurities and dirt from your pores. So, yeah, I would definitely buy this. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it at Target. Most local beauty supply stores have it. So yeah, most local beauty supply stores carry this. I think they also have a bigger jar. Um, I didn't want to get that just until I saw how I was going to feel about the product in general. And I saw some people saying they mixed it in water and that it like irritated their skin and like made it peel and stuff. So I would suggest that you use it with vinegar. But yeah, when I do put it on my face, I'll come back and do another video and show y'all like basically 
how it did on my skin. But I mean, I don't really have acne, so I can't speak to like that. But I know everybody I know that does that uses it. Um, you know, they love it. So um, I would definitely say try it. Um, yeah. So I think it's a great product. If you, but just if your hair is relaxed, I just would not recommend you <laughs> putting it on your hair. It's not really going to do anything. Just me. If I ever decide, I've had, and before everybody asked me, why are you relaxing your hair? It's not good for your hair. You should be natural, blah, blah. I've been natural. I have been natural before. I did it for about six years. And honestly, it was just too much uh, maintenance for me. The upkeep was too much. I just didn't have time for it. I didn't really want to make time for it. I always flat iron my hair. I was never wearing my natural curl pattern anyway. So it just seemed more feasible for me to get the relaxer. And I mean, my hair is not like broken or anything from getting the relaxer. Like it still looks good. So that's that. But yeah, so um that's basically my review of this asset healing clay buy it buy it for your skin buy it for your hair if you are natural if you have relaxed hair do not put this in your hair because it's not going to help you it's going to dry your hair out and then you're going to have to find ways to replace all the moisture that you lost from using this product so yeah that's basically my take on that and thank y'all for watching my video if you made it to the end of this video don't forget to subscribe like share all that and i love y'all and i appreciate your support and i will see you in my next one